Hi guys, this is a mixer motor on uh, 19 volts DC, as you see, a uh, big power transformer and a bridge rectifier plus a filter capacitor, hooked up on the two brushes of the motor and uh, this coil is connected in a parallel. So, let's give it a try. A lot of fun. Hmm. The bridge rectifier is not very hard at all. Very cool. And now let's reverse the polarity. And let's give it another shot. Hmm. Hmm. Seems to spin faster. I have an, another idea. Let's take out these uh, pinions and try again. Alright, so uh, as you can see that they uh, took out the pinions which were spinning the metal things. And uh, I've got a another tip for you guys. Don't buy cheap batteries. It only lasted about a few m minutes and the camera shut down. So yeah, use high drain and high quality rechargeables and you won't regret it. Okay, so now let's plug it in. Alright, I have a, an, another idea. Let's hook that uh, transformer in series with this one and get 
over one, 100 volts and it, let's see if that is going to kill this motor so this is the Toroeda transformer a bridge rectifier with a 10,035 volt capacitor with a power supply diodes very powerful hooked up in series with this transformer and uh, I know this is a very cheap and, and uh, unsafe trans uh, multimeter to use with this but anyway let's give you a shot Much better. Sorry, I got interrupted. If you want to do this uh, at home, be very careful guys. This is a pretty high voltage to work with. And it's got enough power to shock the hell out of you and maybe kill you if you've got a weak heart. So, uh, <coughs> oh, this is stuck. <laughs> anyway. If you got some uh, cool ideas of what I can do with this motor, please let me know in the comment section. Please rate, subscribe, and all that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.